Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Millennium Stage. Tonight's performance is in partnership with East River Jazz as part of the Strayhorn Centennial Celebration Series, running now through November 29th. Now, please welcome the Samora Penderhughes Ensemble. He's very seldom seen in public appearances, but he's always heard. It's my pleasure to introduce the eminent composer, orchestrator, Billy Strayhorn. A flat, A flat for Billy Strayhorn, huh? Thank 
Hello, hello. Thank you guys so much for coming out. How are you guys doing? How are you doing today? There's a lot more people than I expected here, and, and that noise did not uh, satisfy the amount of people. So how are you doing? Please. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I really appreciate you coming out. Um, it's wonderful to see so many new faces. Um, and um, I'm extremely overjoyed and honored to be presenting the music of a luminary such as Billy, Billy Strayhorn. Um, he's definitely the most influential composer um, in my life, and I just really appreciate the opportunity to honor his memory and his music. Um, that tune was a song he wrote entitled Johnny Come Lately. And the most of the songs of his that I'll be covering today are from a very specific period in his development. Um, he had very recently joined the Ellington Orchestra, and there was a radio band of all ASCAP artists, um, of which Duke Ellington was one. And what that uh, entailed was that no ASCAP artist could play their music on the radio. So all of Duke Ellington's compositions were effectively banned from the radio. And so he called up Strayhorn, as well as um, his son, Mercer Ellington, um, while they were staying in Chicago at a, a hotel called Suther the Sutherland Hotel. And he said, I need you to write an entire no new book of music for the orchestra in the next four days, because we have radio days that we need to make, and that's what it is. And they had not signed up with Arc ASCAP, so their music was fair game. So they wrote furiously for four days, and in those four days, the compositions that Billy Strayhorn wrote are jazz standards, some of the great compositions of all time. They include the composition we just played, as well as Take the A Train, um, which became obviously the best known work of that era, um, and also other incredible songs which we'll be playing tonight. Um, so the next tune also comes from that period, and this will feature our vocalist Sarah Charles, and this tune is entitled A Flower is a Love Something. We hope you enjoy. is a love something a luscious living love something a daffodil a rose no matter where it grows 
is such a lovely love something a flower is the heart of spring that makes the rolling hillside sing the gentle wind Gently for the no a flower is a lonesome thing playing in the breeze sway. Drinking pale moonbeams, gardenias floating through the dreams, wherever they may grow, no matter where you go, a flower is. Something.
Thank you very much. Sarah Elizabeth Charles. I'd like to take this opportunity to um, introduce these amazing musicians I have with me. I feel so very fortunate um, to have them on the stage with me. Um, not only are they wonderful musicians, but every single one of them is one of the best uh, pers people that I know and the people with the most integrity and the most uh, originality, the most staying true to themselves. So that's why I really appreciate all these folks on stage. Um, on trumpet, we have the incredible Riley Moherker. <laughs> on trombone, Andy Clausen. <laughs> on bass, from Marseille, France, Clovis Nicolas. <laughs> and on drums, Savannah Harris. Um, I would also uh, like to say um, Andy and I were both um, members of the Betty Carter Jazz Ahead program, and um, that was the last time that I was on this stage, um, so I know it's very wonderful for me to be back up here in this um, situation, and I just want to say I really appreciate and give thanks to that program, which is an incredible program and one that we should all support. Um, the next song that we're going to play is an original of mine, um, and the reason I chose it for this concert is because uh, Strayhorn, as part of his history, a very important part of his history, um, he was openly gay at a time when that was very uh, detrimental to your career, your personal life, everything. And we, we, we know all too well that that can be the case um, far too often today, especially not only with the gay community, but with our transgender um, community as well. Um, and uh, so, he was treated very poorly in his hometown of Pittsburgh. Um, and when Ellington came calling, he, he rushed to New York, not simply just to have, of course, the opportunity of a lifetime to work with this incredible band and this incredible composer, but also, um, hopefully, to be in a space where he could live um, and, and be accepted for who he was. So um, this song is a tune that I wrote um, entitled Milk and Honey. It was originally uh, written for a film score. Uh, the film is, a, is a, the same title. Um, and it's about uh, someone who is very unhappy and, and very uh, traumatized by their current situation and um, decides to, to leave and make a change. Um, so this is a subject that's very important to me, um, the subject of trauma, and one that we definitely don't look at um, close enough as a society. So I hope you enjoy Milk and Honey. Thank you. 
leaving this place behind. One path and a one-way ticket. I'm running out of time. Home is where hatred lives. I'll take my chances on the road again. Take my chances on the road again On my own, on the road again On my own, on the road again On my own, on the road again On my own
Thank you. They say that I'm a poet They say that I'm a poet I wonder what they would say Say if they saw me from the inside out Thank you very much.
That was a tune that I wrote. Um, it's entitled, uh, it actually doesn't have a title. It's titled Untitled. But um, it's based on uh, the poetry um, of an uh, incredible contemporary poet named Saul Williams. Um, all the words are his, and I set them to music. Um, he's my favorite living poet. Um, if you don't know about him, you should definitely should check him out. He has a new book, um, which you should get, as well as his old uh, material. Um, one of the, the uh, great poets of our time, for sure. Um, and I wanted to present that in conjunction with Strayhorn because um, he really considered himself um, an intellectual as well as a musician. Um, he was very curious about um, other forms of art and just about knowledge in general. Um, he was the impetus behind uh, what most, most people know as the Such Sweet Thunder Project, um, Duke Ellington, and, and that he and, he and Duke Ellington wrote together, which was uh, the Shakespearean Suite. All the songs on that album are um, based on different uh, interpretations of Shakespeare plays. So uh, I wanted to present that as a tribute to that side of him. And now we're going to go back to the music that he um, created for the Ellington Band. This is another piece that he um, created during that time period that I told you about, that four day period. And um, this is not actually an original of his, um, it's a, an arrangement called uh, Flamingo. And uh, at the time, uh, vocal arrangements for big bands uh, were very timid. It was basically about just creating colors for the vocalist and not getting in the way. And he really changed the game with this arrangement. Um, many people, including uh, Gil Evans, Jerry Mulligan, um, John Lewis, a lot of folks um, cited this as a turning point um, in their development as orchestrators and composers and arrangers. So uh, this is our interpretation of the wonderful tune Flamingo.
flamingo Like a flame in the sky Floating over the island To a lover nearby Flamingo With your tropical hue For it's you Flamingo, arrangement by Billy Strayhorn. Thank you very much. Um, we're now going con to continue um, with uh, another composition of mine uh, that is inspired by that type of energy of, uh, of, of which Strayhorn had a few different pieces. Um, this is a composition, uh, the title of which comes from a Pablo Neruda poem is called Mariposa de Sueño, which translate, translates roughly to Butterfly of Dreams. We hope you enjoy.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Y'all still with me? All right, all right. Thank you very much. That was Mariposa de Sueño. Um, we have time for one more tune. Um, so before we do that, I would like to once again introduce the members of the band. On vocals, Sarah Elizabeth Charles. <laughs> On trumpet, Riley Moherker. <laughs> On trombone, Andy Clausen. <laughs> On the bass, Clovis Nicolas. <laughs> On the drums, Savannah Harris. And uh, my name is Samora Pinder Hughes, so I'm really, really happy to be here. Um, I also wanted to say a couple thank yous. Um, thank you, obviously, first of all, to the Kennedy Center for having us. Um, this is a really, really wonderful experience for us, and especially for me. Um, and thank you to the sound folks. The sound is immaculate, and uh, it makes such a big difference. Um, so we really appreciate you. Yes. Um, and another special Kennedy Center thank you. Thank you so much to the ushers. Um, Y'all, you know, really often go unnoticed, but we notice what you're doing. We really appreciate you. Um, and I'd also like to thank um, Bernard from East River Jazz who put together this entire uh, Strayhorn uh, Festival. There have been uh, many events before this, and there will be many events following this, um, all different versions with different musicians performing the music of Billy Strayhorn. Um, it's an incredible, incredible thing, and, and somebody, somebody really had to do it um, because his music is so uh, under-recognized in a very kind of criminal way. Um, so I really appreciate Bernard for putting this together. Um, the last tune that we're going to do um, is another song of mine, um, and the way that it's connected to Strayhorn um, is another biographical um, if, uh, fact about him. Um, he was very, very close friends uh, with Martin Luther King Jr. and was very passionate about the civil rights movement. Um, he, he was very behind the scenes, so many people don't know, but um, he was very instrumental in getting many musicians, including Lena Horne, um, more involved in uh, the struggle for civil rights. And um, he was very, very enthusiastic about um, ideas and coming up with ideas, talking to Martin about, well, we can get you know the artistic populace um, to come to the table in this way or this other way. And um, he was always you know really fighting and struggling to try to figure out how to aid the cause. Um, so. I really truly believe that if Strayhorn were alive today um, in his 100th year, that he would be a firm supporter of the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, so I felt like I had to do something um, that was about that. Um, this is a very critical moment in our history, um, one that we all have to take very seriously. Um, I know that here in D.C. last week um, was the Justice or Else March. Um, and uh, among other things, at that march they called for uh, a, b a boycott of Black Friday. Um, and just in general, an economic divestment from not only corporations, but um, also an economic investment in black communities. Um, there are a lot of different ways to work on these issues. Um, a definitely a, strong, a very strong one is economically, is with our pocketbooks. Um, if we stop supporting uh, companies that promote white supremacist uh, culture and white supremacist po policies, as well as institutions that do the same, um, that's a very, very strong way to send a message and force them to change. So I would all encourage you guys to boycott Black Friday um, and also to get involved in the movement in whatever way you can, whether it's here in DC, whether it's in Baltimore, where high school students are protesting and getting arrested. Um, whether it's in Chicago, whether it's in New York, um, there it's happening all over the place, and uh, you have to be on the r on the right side of history with this one. So, this is our um, this is our contribution musically, um, and this is a tune um, that's that I wrote specifically for Mike Brown, but I dedicate it to all the victims of police brutality, um, the ones that we know, and also the ones that we don't, because there are many that we don't know. Um, so. 
I'd like to take a moment um, of silence for that as we prepare to play a tune entitled For Those Lost. There are days, this is one of them, when you wonder what your role is in this country and what your future is in it. Promise me I'll be alive when I leave my home. Promise me I'll be alive when I drive alone. Stoplights could be murder. Movements could be murder, conversations be murder. Oh, promise me I'll be alive when I leave my home. Promise me I'll be alive when I drive alone. Stop lights could be murder, movements could be murder. Steel bars and they put a charge on my name. Now I think they got me back in chains.
Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming, and I hope you have a good day.